In California law, hit and run is when you're involved in an accident, an accident that causes property damage to, to something other than your vehicle, or that causes injuries to, to a third party, and you fail to stop and perform your legal duties. California Vehicle Code imposes certain duties on drivers if they're involved in an auto collision. Your duties vary depending on whether there was just property damage or whether someone was injured. If there's only property damage to something other than your own vehicle, you have the duty to immediately stop your vehicle and provide your identifying information to the other driver. If it's a situation where you hit a parked car or some other person's property where the owner isn't present, it's your duty to leave a note in a conspicuous place on that person's property with your identifying information. However, if it's a situation in which someone is injured, you have the duty to render reasonable assistance. Usually what this means is calling 911 and making sure the injured party is receiving medical assistance at the scene. You have these duties regardless of who was at fault for the accident. For example, you could be stopped at a red light and somebody rear ends you and it's crystal clear that it's their fault, but it's still your duty to stop and provide identifying information. Even though they hit, it was their fault and you ran, you could still be charged with hit and run. If you're convicted of hit and run and there was only property damage involved, then it's only a misdemeanor and the maximum sentence is up to a year in county jail. However, if there were injuries uh, to, a, to a third party, then it becomes a felony. And as a felony, you could face up to three years in state prison. But perhaps worst of all is having a permanent criminal record. And a conviction for hit and run looks really bad, especially to prospective employers, because they wonder, is this somebody who evades responsibility? Is this somebody who's dishonest? And it can be very easy to lose uh, uh, job opportunities and other benefits later in life. So to the extent that you're charged with hit and run, you want to do everything you can now to fight the case and keep it off your record. A lot of people think a hit and run charge is a, an open and shut case. However, this can be a charge where it's a surprisingly difficult for a prosecutor to prove and a lot of innocent people do get wrongfully accused. The good news is we here at the Shouse Law Group have a great record of success in fighting these hit and run charges and getting them reduced and even dismissed. One common defense to a hit and run charge is that you didn't realize that you were in an accident. You may have been on a very busy street where there was traffic and a lot of noise and you may have sideswiped someone and not realize that there was contact with another vehicle. You're only guilty of hit and run if you were aware that there was damage. If you legitimately didn't realize it at the time, then that's a valid defense and we should be able to get the charge dismissed. Another common defense to hit and run is that it wasn't you driving. So even if witnesses identify your vehicle as being involved in the accident, the DA still has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt in court that you were the one behind the wheel. A lot of times the way these investigations happen is that somebody will take down your license plate as, as being the vehicle that fled the scene. And the police will then go and get your photograph from the DMV database and put it in a photo lineup that they'll bring to witnesses of the accident and ask if they can identify you as being the person who was driving. If they're not able to remember you or recognize you or identify you as the driver and you haven't confessed or admitted to that, then it can be very difficult for the prosecutor to prove in court that you were the one who committed hit and run. It's often the case that someone's involved in an accident but it's not safe for them to get out of the vehicle at the scene and perform their duties right then. It might be because the other driver is experiencing road rage, or you hit a pedestrian and there's an angry mob forming at the scene. Technically, it's not a defense in the vehicle code to flee the scene out of fear for your own safety. However, if this is a situation and you did report the accident to the authorities as soon as possible, then most likely the DA can be convinced not to prosecute. You may be in a situation where you were just in an accident and you fled and you're on the run. 
If this is the case, you should contact us immediately. We've helped hundreds of people in this type of situation. We'll help you figure out a solution that's in your best interest.